Okay, welcome everyone to the Leadership and Performance Coaching Certification Informational Webinar. We're going to get started here, and just before we do, just a minor housekeeping item. So this is GoToWebinar, and if you have comments or questions, please go ahead and type them in the box here. So there's a little box on your screen that says questions. You can go ahead and type them there. And then we have a dedicated time um, to answer your questions uh, um, in this presentation. So we will make sure that we get to them. Okay, let's let's get started. So welcome, I'm Erin Hutchins. I'm one of the co-founders of ACT Leadership. So a little bit about me. I'm a professional certified coach, so PCC with the International Coaching Federation. I've trained hundreds of individuals to become leadership and performance coaches. I also am an executive coach where I work with leaders. I also work with teams to help them um, maximize their potential and um, have done a lot of cultural change work. I also have here with me my, uh, my co-leader here today and also the co-founder of ACT, Mike uh, Hutchins. Hi there. So yeah, I'm also a professionally certified coach. Um, so a lot of my time, executive coaching, coach trainer, uh, instructional designer, and uh, consultant. So background of 20 years of uh, management consulting with the big four, uh, where I also trained as a CPA, uh, and five years in industry. And so the focus really was on organizational design, leading change, and uh, business transformation. So the lessons that I learned from that experience really are uh, what is the, the, the foundation for our programs. So really contextualizing you know, leadership and performance coaching uh, in different organizational contexts. So you know, the objective is really to help leaders become more uh, self-aware of, of their impact. So that, that's essentially what ACT does. So we are located in the Washington DC area. We work globally with organizations and also with the federal government where we're training over 500 leaders in the Department of Defense to become uh, leadership and performance coaches. What else do we wanna say about ACT? Uh, we also do team coaching. Uh, we do uh, a lot of der derivations of this program. So we do things like leader as coach uh, where, and leadership development programs where really we're just looking to um, help leaders explore their awareness so that they can have greater impact and greater performance. And for this particular program, we are collaborating with Brown University to offer a fall cohort um, for this certification program. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. We're going to be talking about the leadership and performance coaching program. Yeah, and ACT also supports some of the leadership and coaching components of exec executive master's programs at Brown University. Okay, so here's what we're gonna be doing on today's call. We're gonna talk about why coaching, why, why is coaching so hot right now? And how does coaching help some of the challenges that leaders are facing? So we're gonna start there, and then we're gonna talk about some of the benefits of coaching to teams and also to organizations. And then we're also gonna talk about the benefits to you. We're then going to talk a little bit about what is coaching and how we're defining it. And then we'll, go, we'll give you a good overview of the program where we're gonna break down the different program components. So we'll talk about schedule, we'll talk about what the cohort experience is like. Um, and then we're also, um, We'll have a lot of time to talk and answer your questions. So you have, if you have specific questions about coaching or about the program, we're happy to answer them. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so a little bit of context. So, you know, what are some of the challenges, the leadership challenge that we see, uh, either through uh, listening to executives that we coach or executives or leaders that we hear in the classroom, some of the challenges that we hear. So. On this slide, we've attempted to depict some of these challenges, and you know many of them will be familiar uh, to you. So, for example, you know we're seeing there's more complexity. Uh, we're seeing a millennial population that is really being more demanding of of how they want to be led, and and really looking for ways to have more autonomy, you know, more fulfillment in what they do in their work. Uh, we're also seeing, you know an unprecedented number of reorgs that are going on. You know, you look at org charts now and you sort of see these indecipherable matrices 
um, where it's hard to, to follow really who's reporting into who. And so it's putting an, an, a, an unprecedented pressure on, on these leaders. It's really challenging traditional leadership styles where you know, leaders were expected to have the answers uh, or be directive. So, yeah. Yeah, so, so with what we're seeing is the leaders that are being successful and able to sustain high performance and, and effectiveness really are ones that are able to connect with their employees, be agile and also resilient. Okay, so here when we're looking at the benefits to the teams and organization through coaching, we're looking through the lens of how do we help enhance relationship and also achieve results at the same time, holding that both of these are important. One of the other um, huge benefits we see is employee retention rates. We know that when we focus on growing individuals, we place attention there. Um, we know that re retention rates improve. We also look at how can we influence culture. So by getting down to some of the root causes of issues around what's really going on underneath that impacts behaviors. And that's what coaching really does is it helps look at what is going on underneath. So getting to the root cause. Another um, big thing we're seeing here is it really increases individuals' ability to to critically think for themselves. So in coaching, we're looking at how do we help another person come up with their own solution, therefore decreasing the dependency on others, you know, of always having to look for the answer. So we'll talk a little bit more about that when we go into the coaching definition, but we are looking at how can we increase people's critical thinking capacity. Yeah, and then final point on this slide is client relationships. And so leaders and you know managers that are able to be more coach-like with their clients or customers, you know, get a deeper understanding of what it is that they really want. So they're looking at the emotional components. You know, they can develop an ability to read some of the underlying assumptions that may not get stated, uh, rather than focusing it purely on the the data. And so yes to the data, but also to you know, how it's being said and, and some of the underlying uh, issues. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about uh, benefits to you from attending this program. So one of the benefits is that it will increase your range as a leader. So one of the things that we know is that our default response as humans is to default to want to give advice or to problem solve or give the answer, right? We're really good at that and we have a really pretty, um, uh, you know, um, uh, structured neuro neural pathways around that. So we're saying yes to what you already bring to to this. You know, your mentoring skills, your strategy still skills, your advisory skills. We're saying yes to all of that, and we're really stretching you into how to be more empathic and how to be more coach-like as a leader. One of the other benefits that you'll get is you know improved self-awareness. So as a participant, you will, and in turn, the people that you coach will have much greater self-awareness. So you'll have much more awareness of your impact, how you show up as a leader. Uh, your emotional intelligence will improve. You, you'll take more responsibility for your emotions and ultimately lead to better choices. So this is all about, you know, how do you become more coach-like as a leader? And also in this program, it's around how, um, if you choose to become certified as a coach. So our program is ICF accredited. And so if you choose to become certified as a coach, then you can, uh, you can also do that through us and the ICF. Yeah, and just to bottom line, a couple of the other benefits. So becoming a better listener. You know, we already mentioned like not just for what is being said, but also how it's being said and what isn't being said. And then finally, to to be able to ask better questions. You know, the default often is to ask a closed question in a sort of problem solving mindset. And it's really being able to ask questions that will evoke the answers within the other person to really make them think and, and sort of to put the sweat on the, the other person's brow. Okay, so that leads us to this slide around what is coaching. So the International Coaching Federation, so they're one of the global accrediting bodies of, of coaching. So this is how they define coaching. And so really what this means is we're helping to partner with individuals, or we can call them coaches, the person receiving coaching, to help, um, help evoke thought, help them 
think more critically for themselves so ultimately they can come up with their own answers, own solutions, and own them. And why do we want them to own them? We want them to own them because we ultimately want them to make, uh, take responsibility for their decisions. And, um, and so in coaching, we really hold that individual or that coachee as their expert in his or her life or work. And our job as a coach is to help elicit the answers from within. So it's going back to what we were saying before is we're expanding your range to um, you know, not have your default response be, let me help you fix this or solve this, or let me give you the answer, to offer a different approach to help the person do their own thinking. So as, as Mike was just mentioning, what are some of the questions that you need to ask to really help that light bulb go off in that other person's head so they can ultimately you know, own their solution? Yeah, so just to underscore some of the, the, the benefits, you know, the impact on the coachee or on you as a more coach-like leader, as a participant, uh, you become more accountable and committed. So you are owning the decisions that you make, um, which allows you to make better and more fulfilled career choices, you know, more, more connected to your values and purpose, um, and think through problems much more critically. And, and, and so being less, de sorry, dependent on your boss for answers. Okay, so we're now going to go into the overview of the program and what we'd like to start is with the objectives. So the first objective of this program is to train you to become a leadership and performance coach. So again, if you choose to go for the, the accreditation, um, you can do because this is a ICF approved uh, accredited program. The second benefit of this program is to train you to become more coach-like as a leader. So we talked about all the benefits there. And then the third um, objective of this program is that you're going to get a lot of personal development from this program because it's uh, we're going to be using real issues and challenges that you face. And there is, there's immediate application. So let's talk about the, the program now. So who's going to be in this program? So we are... Um, this program is geared to working professionals, so people that are leaders, managers, HR professionals, consultants, anybody who's working in an organizational capacity that wants to essentially enhance uh, performance and leadership. We are targeting people that have organizational experience. This program is a six month program, so from start to finish. So when you first start the program, it's six months from the start date of module one, and then um, it finishes in uh, six months after that. It is, there's three modules, and we'll go into the breakdown of those in a minute, that are in person, and they'll be taking place at the Brown University campus. Okay, so that's a little bit of an overview of the program. Uh, actually, before we go on, one of the things I want to say is that the, the program is very highly experiential. So there's not a lot of us, you know, as instructors lecturing at you around here's what you need to do. But we are actually we're showing and demonstrating through live demos. Everything is real play versus role play. And then you'll you will be working with your other cohort members in uh, practicing coaching, application, so when you walk out of the room, you'll know how to immediately apply um, the, the skills and the concepts that you're learning in the program. So it will expose you to different scenarios, like how to have difficult conversations, how to uh, give, you know, difficult feedback, um, for example, how to, you know, other examples like presentations, uh, leading your team, you know, how can you infuse some of these coaching skills into these different organizational contexts. Okay, so this on this slide is basically an overview of the breakdown of the program components. So the first module in person begins on September 25th and it'll go from September 25th to the 27th at Brown University uh, campus. Okay, so it's three days and that module is called Coaching Foundations. And essentially in this module, we are introducing you to the foundational coaching skills and concepts and also the mindsets that you need to uh, be in as a coach. Okay, so this is the, 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 the first module, very foundational. Yeah, so we'll, we'll give you the structure of a coach-client relationship. And so, you know, you will leave module one having a greater awareness of the, the foundational coaching skills, you know, how to apply them in a formal coaching conversation and also become more self-aware around maybe your tendencies to problem solve and give advice. 
Okay, and module two is October 23rd to the 25th. So that's the three days in person and it's called reactive to creative. And this one is very content heavy. So we are doing a deep dive into content and working essentially introducing you to these concepts of how to help others shift from a reactive stance into a creative one. And this is all based upon the research from adult um, development theories around the work that Robert Keegan has done. And um, so we're looking at how do you help others shift from a reactive stance into a creative one. So we're gonna be working with uh, values, self-limiting beliefs, assumptions that people make. Um, we're going to be providing you with a structure around shifting from a reactive to a creative stance. So you're really able to listen to your client and understand, you know, where, when is that shift really starting to happen? And how do you sustain that? How do you help leaders sustain from operating from a place of creative where they're really at their best and they're being um, most effective, essentially? Okay, module three is from November 27th to the 29th, um, and that's the three days. And this module is called Presence, Range, and Integration. So in this module, we're working with you to help um, others through some more emotionally charged issues. So let's say when you face a lot of resistance or you're working with people that have a lot of resistance, how do you work through that in the most productive way, essentially? So um, we are integrating we are also integrating in this module everything that you've learned as well as working on your range as a coach so how can we how can we keep on stretching you so you'll develop the ability to meet your client where they are you know you may be dealing with somebody that's very introverted or maybe somebody that's very extroverted and that talks a lot so we'll explore all these different styles of personality that you'll be meeting or coming up against as a coach like leader or or, or as a coach and uh, helping you expand your range so that you can meet them where they are and point them to where they need to go. Okay, so those are the three in-person modules. And then, um, as you can see here on the next row, there's mentor coaching group calls. So you will be um, on seven uh, one-hour group calls in between modules. And the purpose of these calls is to really deepen your learning from the classroom. These are virtual calls and um, there'll be two that happen after module one, another two that happen after module two, and another three that happen after module three. Okay, and then um, there's also group practice during these calls where you're gonna be with accountability partners, where you're gonna be practicing coaching and applying the skills that you've learned in the classroom. Also, there's individual mentor feedback sessions. This is a really neat part of the program because you get three individual one hour calls with our mentor coaches that are really helping you to grow and excel as a coach. So it's not a, it's a, it's not a test, it's not set up that way, but it's like how can we really help you and support you um, in, in your growth so you can reach your goals um, of the program. So you get some really personal, incisive feedback that's really tailored specifically to, to your, your style. And so really uncovers maybe some, uh, some bad habits that you have or a blind spot that you have and gives you some, some action steps for you to work on after the coaching to really put that into practice. Also in this program, in our program, you'll need 24 hours of coaching practice. So we'd encourage you to start, if you are going to sign up for the program or if you have already, we want you to work with uh, you know, five clients, five people that you can practice coaching during the certification program. Okay, so you'll need 24 hours with us. And then if you go for your ICF accreditation, you'll ultimately need 100 hours um, of, of practice hours. But for our program, it's 24. And then finally, self-paced learning. So as a minimum of 10 hours of, we have uh, videos, audios, and uh, articles for you to read and to really deepen your understanding of coaching. So the core coaching skills, the concepts, you know, we have these short uh, sort of micro learning uh, audio uh, MP3s that you can listen to on your way to work that really deepen and reinforce the learning concepts. So if there's something that you're not quite understanding, maybe from the classroom, then you have an opportunity to, to pick that up in these audio files. Okay, so that's the self-paced learning um, component. I think, um, 
you know, before we go to the next slide, one of the 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 pieces that makes this program so transformational is the cohort experience. So you're going to be with these individuals for six months and 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 actually longer. One of from our experience of having run many of these programs is that there the, there's there's a deep connection that is made with the cohort members because you are all going through this journey um, to grow as a coach together. So one of the things that uh, we, we, we sort of secure at, at the beginning is really the safety and trust between the cohort members. So, you know, they have the opportunity to really open up and become more vulnerable about the challenges that they face, both personally and professionally. And so they, they receive coaching from other members in the cohort and um, also provide coaching. And so they develop both personally and professionally. And that in-person component is so important because of that reason that Mike's speaking to, because of the connection that is made. And um, so one of the things that we want you to know is that this program is totally doable if you are working full time. So this program had, was, was designed and built for the working professional. So if you, if that is one of your questions around how can I achieve this, it is, it is totally doable. Um, and, um, you know, we've been asked, can this whole program be offered virtually? And we haven't offered that yet because we feel like the in-person program is so, that that component is so important for that connection and for the transformation to occur. And there's good, there's a good amount of virtual components built into the program already with the group follow-up calls and then the individual follow-up calls as well. Okay, so we want you to be, we're going to go to the next slide, but we want you to be thinking about any questions that you have for us, because then we will be um, taking your questions. So let's go ahead and go to the next slide. Yeah, so we've just um, given you uh, sort of a handful of our uh, faculty members. So these are some of our coach trainers that are either um, PCC, professionally certified coaches, or MCC, which are master coaches. Uh, and our master coaches have helped with the design of our program. So, you know, in some cases they have, you know, over 30 years of coach training experience. So it's really, you know, pulling together, like, where is it we've seen students struggle? Where is it we've seen students excel? And so as a, as a team, as a faculty team, we work closely together to, with our mentor coaches as well to really understand and continuously improve um, the performance of our coach trainers and in turn the performance of you uh, as coaches in training. Okay, let's go ahead and pause here and see what questions that we have. Um, and while we're waiting for, on your questions, um, this is our, uh, uh, Katie Johnson is our program manager and she would be happy to also, and any of us actually would be happy to talk to you if you have any questions about the program. The, the Brown cohort is starting in September as mentioned. So if you are inter, inter, interested in applying and attending, attending this program, you will need to apply using the link on the screen. So it's important that you do do that as soon as possible to be considered for the cohort that's going to be get, uh, begin in the fall. Um, another thing that we mentioned too is that if you attended this webinar, we are actually doing a raffle. So we are offering a, a, a partial scholarship to one attendee who, um, um, who has attended this webinar and interested in coming to the program. And we will be doing the raffle after this call and then we will be contacting you by email today um, to let you know if you won. Okay, so let's see, some of the questions are coming in. Um, okay, we have here, hi, um, how would you describe a, a range of types of coaching topics such as improvements, career, organizational? That's a fantastic question. Yeah, um, um, we, we hit that head on on day, day one or day two of module one, because obviously we're getting you into coaching practice right from the, the get go. Um, so we, you know, this is a leadership and performance coaching program. So, you know, in many ways we want to hear uh, topics that are organizational related. So a lot of what we hear is, you know, I have a difficult relationship with my boss. How can I improve that? Or I, I have uh, uh, somebody in my team that I'm that really triggers me, you know, or I didn't get promoted and I'm really frustrated about that and it's causing me some resentment. 
It could also be a work-life balance. It could be certain goals that, you know, often we have leaders that who are working on, you know, where, where do they want to be five years from now? Um, what does retirement look like? Um, so it could be a range of topics. And in the way, it's actually a really good question because if you're coming to the, our program, we want you to come with your own topics and then find clients. So it's like, how do you introduce this to people? How do you introduce this to potential clients or individuals you're gonna be working with? So we're asking you to do that by looking at what are some challenges that you face as a leader? So these are, these are how we're defining topics. You know, what are challenge, what's a current challenge that you face as a leader? Or what is a, um, a goal that you want to reach? Or a vision that you want to see happen? Um, so those are all different ways to elicit topics. Um, and also, you know, um, in our coaching program, we're looking at the whole person. So often we find that topics, topics become very personal as well. So it might start with an organizational topic or a work-related topic and then also evolve into a personal topic because in coaching, we're really looking at what is going on underneath. What is the systemic issue or problem that turns into that pattern that is is being ma manifested in all areas of their life yeah so the the, the sort of the deeper underlying issues that erin mentioned uh the self-limiting beliefs you know when we're working at that level you know these self-limiting beliefs they often transcend organizational boundaries so you know if somebody's struggling to trust or delegate you know within their team then that there's a good chance that that, um, that belief is uh, causing similar behaviors outside of work as well. It could be in their community, it could be in uh, you know, their neighborhood, or it could be with their spouse or that kind of thing. And so you know, we encourage, especially in training, because there's so many, <laughs> you'll be doing this so many times in class, so much practice, um, that we, we encourage you to bring any topic because for the person that's coaching you, they get the opportunity to you know, practice listening uh, at different levels. They get to practice using values. They get to practice understanding what the beliefs are that are impacting the performance. Um, so hopefully that answers your question. Okay, let's go to our next question. Here we go. Hi, um, can you explain how coaching, okay, okay. Can you explain how coaching leads to transformative results? Yeah, so our, our program is called Leadership and Performance Coaching. And so we really look at the word performance and performance and effectiveness and really exploring like what is it for a leader to to operate and sustain, you know, being in that highly performing um, uh, mindset. And so we spend a lot of time really looking at that and understanding, you know, rather than just looking at competencies, a lot of programs, they just look at you know, be more directive or be, um, I don't know, that, that sort of thing. We're really looking at beneath that to what are some of the drivers? You know, what are the things that are driving you to perform, you know, better? So we're looking at tr translating self-limiting beliefs to reframe those into self-affirming beliefs. And we're looking at purpose and values and saying, how do you really honor your values and the values of the organization um, so that you can, you know, operate from being more emotionally intelligent and be be more of a role model for the rest of the organization. And I think to what Mike's speaking to is so important. So important, and this is why we see coaching works, is is that we're looking at what's going on underneath, you know, because it's like instead of trying to treat the symptom of the problem, um, you know, we're looking at what is the root cause and how does that root cause affect all these different areas of that person's performance. And so when we can get to that root cause or that pattern or that underlying assumption that is prohibiting, um, you know, good performance, then we can look at how do we then when we shift the mindset or we shift beliefs, um, then we can look at behavioral change. And so uh, um, that's where we, we look at creating those results is really being able to look at what's the root cause that's driving the, the issue or the challenge. And that's how we can get to sustainable, transformative results. Uh, another question. So what differentiates your program from other programs? So there are a number of things. You know, first, first and foremost, our program is grounded in the International Coaching Federation 
uh, core competencies. So, you know, that is what's needed for our program to be accredited. Beyond that, so that's the, you know, the foundational skills that you need to become a, an associate certified coach. Beyond that, you know, I, I think with certainly my experience and others experience that in terms of the instructional design of the program, we look at everything through the lens of how is this applicable in an organizational context? And so, you know, a lot of the research that we do working with, you know, the International Coaching Federation and, um, you know, the, the Association of Coach Trainers is looking at what's working and what's not working. And what we find is, you know, often uh, executive coaches or coaches, they struggle to really meet their clients where they are. So one component that differentiates us from other programs, and it's not an ICF requirement, is really being able to meet your clients where they are so that you can deal with a whole range of different personality styles when you're at work. Also, the way that this program is designed is, you know, the two main objectives to train you as a coach, if you choose to become certified and also to train you to become more coach like as a leader, because we're seeing more of that as we're seeing that coaching has become such a core competency of leadership development. And so you're really getting both benefits. And then you get to choose whether you want to go for that whole, uh, you know, full-blown accreditation. Yeah. And then, you know, other aspects from a, from a program design perspective, uh, we look to integrate early on. So rather than giving you concepts in silos, you know, we're really looking to integrate early on. And, you know, from, you know, some programs will have, you know, all the theory up front where you go to the classroom, you do all the training and then, few months later, you'll do all of the virtual programs, whereas we reinforce what you learn in the classroom, either through your own self-paced learning or through the mentor group coaching calls so that, you know, if there's stuff you're not getting, you'll know about it pretty soon and you'll know how to fix it. And your mentor coach will really help you get back on track if there's any way that you feel like you're, 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 you're falling. Okay. Any other questions that are out there? We will say again, if you are interested in applying, please do submit your application ASAP. The link is on the bottom of this page so we can consider you for the fall um, uh, cohort. Um, so please go ahead and do that if you are interested in this program. And we'll just see if there's any more questions that come up. All right. Hopefully all of that was really clear. And if you have any other questions or comments for us that do come up, um, please feel free to email us. Um, you have Katie's email here. And if you would like to set up a one-on-one -on -one call with any of us, myself, Mike, or with Katie, we'd be happy uh, to do so. All right, so thank you for your time and uh, hopefully see you in September. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you.